What is up guys, Smitty Angling TV today with a new video and today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to go out and fish, it's actually raining where I wanted to go and fish today. So I decided um, after watching Millican's fishing, Millican Fishing's video about his um, one year journey about his progress and becoming a full time YouTube fisherman that um, I wanted to do a video on my take and the positive and negative things about the truth about becoming a full time YouTube fisherman and um, I just thought I would maybe just sit down today and give you guys a talk. If you guys are not into this sort of video, it, I wouldn't mind if you guys click out at all. But if you guys want to know the truth, um, stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video. So first off, if you guys are new to the channel, I do mostly fishing videos and then occasionally I will do a video like this where I just sit down and talk a little bit to you guys about my life, the journey I've been going through and just a little bit more of personal things. Um, so if you guys are into that sort of content, consider subscribing. Also, I'm thinking about starting a little bit of a survival angle to my channel. Um, if you guys would be keen to see that kind of content as well, like survival in the woods, making survival things and testing them and stuff like that, um, just let me know in the comment section. I'm thinking about just uh, making my channel a little bit more broad uh, in the outdoors niche. So let me know what you guys think about that. And then before we jump into the actual video, uh, I just want to give the winner the 1000 meters of braid. So in about two videos or three videos back, I said that I would be doing a giveaway for 1,000 meters of braid. And uh, the winner to that giveaway is Vincent Lombard. So um, the thing is, uh, I just asked some, I just asked that you guys would just share the, uh, the video and just like and subscribe to my channel. And then um, Vincent actually went and he literally tagged like 150 or something people on his Facebook. And that just said to me, okay, like he really wants it. So I think he deserves it. So he will be getting 1000 meters of braid. So Vincent just contact me and then uh, I'll get the braid to you, man. All right, so let's just talk about a little bit of the negative things um, about becoming a full-time YouTube fisherman and just things to keep in mind, not necessarily negative, but the realistic things. So first off, it is really, really expensive to go out three, four, five, six times a week and go fishing. I mean, you have to cover things like fuel each time when you go to a place, even if it's a local pond and you just wanna, even if you walk and you do some bank fishing, um, which is not obviously always gonna be the case. It's good to start that way, but it's expensive to pay fuel, entry fees to lakes and stuff like that, um, boat fuel, food, uh, tackle. It, it just adds up a lot if you go out very often and go fish and um, it's expensive. I obviously don't need to tell you guys that because uh, if you're in the fishing game and you like uh, fishing as a hobby and all that, you probably know that fishing is expensive. And um, the next thing I would say uh, is it takes a lot of time. Really, it takes a lot of time, not just fishing. I mean, the fishing taking a lot of time, that's fun, that's awesome. But it takes a lot of time to edit a video. For example, if you make a video about 10 minutes and you really put in a lot of effort to make it proper, it literally took me about a day in the beginning to edit a 10 minute video. It takes me about five to six hours now. But the point is that it takes a lot of time to edit. And the thing is you need a lot of experience in the video editing platform, whether what, whatever program you use to make a proper edit, which a lot of people will enjoy. So it takes a lot of time. The next thing I would say is it is really stressful. Um, I mean, for example, let's say you quit your full time job and you try to become a full-time YouTube fisherman, let's say you have about three, four months um, of money which you can use for the fishing and trying to build your audience and do it full-time. It's quite stressful because you have no idea how your numbers is gonna look and uh, how much subscribers, how much view, view, views and stuff like that you're gonna get because it's really unpredictable if I can say it like that. I mean, I've been literally making about fishing videos for about seven to eight months and um, I think I've made about 50 videos if I'm right, just over 50 videos. Um, but uh, all of my videos I try to do really high quality. I, I try to do one video a week, which is not enough. Honestly, it's not enough to be a full-time YouTube fisherman. But the thing is, in all this time I've been doing this, I have literally not made one dollar out of it. I have made nothing, nothing, nothing out of it. In fact, I've just been spending money on it. Like I said in the beginning, it's expensive. So uh, you need to keep that in mind unless you literally have some sort of connection which you get in contact with John B. Flair and the whole Guggen Squad and all of they film a video with you and they shout out your channel and you get, let's, let's say for example, like 50,000 subscribers. 
it's going to be really stressful um, while building that audience if you have no support of like backup income. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. So yeah, it doesn't make you a lot of money. It's stressful. It's expensive. It's... <laughs> It's, it's tough, all right? So uh, that's just the negative things and the realistic things that you need to keep in mind if you are thinking about becoming a full-time YouTube fisherman. Another thing is you always need to up your game with camera, gear, tackle, and all those sort of things. And um, yeah, but let's just not focus on the negative. Let's go to the positive. And let me just tell you guys a little bit about the perks about becoming or trying to become at least a full-time YouTube fisherman. So obviously, if you get out of fish three or four or five times a week, it's awesome. I mean, it's your passion. It's fun to fish. Uh, it calms your soul. It's healthy, I would say. Um, it's just, it's my passion. And obviously, if you like fishing, it's going to be your passion. So it's obviously nice to do something that you love for a living. The next thing that I would say is a massive perk about trying to become at least a full-time YouTube fisherman is it opens a lot of doors for you, uh, especially in the fishing industry. So just a little while I've been doing fishing videos and stuff like that, I've had a lot of brands and companies and things like that uh, try to ship me things and try to collaborate with me and uh, they want to be partners and stuff like that, which is obviously nice because uh, if you're in the fishing industry and let's say, for example, a tackle shop um, comes to you and says, okay, they'll give you a discount code which you can give to your fans and then you can maybe get some discount when you buy things at the store. That's a massive perk. Um, because buying fishing things is expensive so uh, it just helps with that little bit of expensive stuff to get the tackle at some better prices another good perk I would say is that um, that let's say for example you have a big enough following you can literally go to places like uh, fishing fishing accommodation places nearby fishing lake and say that if they for example give you free accommodation like just let you stay there while you're fishing that you would uh, promote their promote their place in your video so that's another good thing because a lot of those places will say yes especially if you are doing it like in the middle of the week where not a lot of people will be going fishing because then it doesn't really bother them and then you get some cool places to fish for cheap or free and another great thing I would say is that you are your own boss you really determine everything you determine how much videos you put out how much views you're gonna get so if you really want to hustle and you maybe put out three or four videos a week um, it's just gonna keep getting you views and grow. Doesn't matter how bad your content is, it's just gonna grow. But obviously the better your content is, the better. You always wanna put out quality content and that's just one of my advice when I speak to people that want to start. I would just say, even if you put out one video a week, make it quality, do your best. Even if it takes you one hour each day to edit that video for a whole week, just do it. Just do the hours and you will, you will reap the fruit <laughs> if you make quality content, honestly. And then another question I get a lot is, would I recommend it? Now I'm from South Africa and there is not a lot of big YouTube channels right around me. So for me to collaborate and stuff with bigger YouTubers is really tough and I haven't actually done any big collaborations yet. So uh, for me, it's tough to grow as well. And I wouldn't say that I would recommend it or not. Uh, I would say it's awesome if you can do it and you have some sort of backup income. Let's say for example, you you have a part-time job which you can use to fund your uh, your journey of becoming a full-time YouTube fisherman. I would say it's worth giving it a try. But uh, obviously, you have to think about it yourself. Is it going to be worth it for you? Uh, is it something you really want to do? You obviously have to think about the other things like camera, filming, and editing. Those things are not necessarily fishing-related and it's part of the YouTube fishing game unless you can hire an expensive um, editor or something. Uh, it's something that you're going to have to do about 50% of the time is editing and promoting and uh, stuff like that. So that's another thing you need to keep in mind. It's not all just fishing. The other big part of it is filming and editing. And you're going to have to enjoy that as well if you want to do it. If, you, if you're not going to enjoy it, I wouldn't recommend it at all. So yeah, that is about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, and if you guys like this type of video, please let me know in the comment section. I like to just talk to you guys about the stuff like this. Um, and yeah, obviously it's not fishing uh, <laughs> like my normal videos, but I think uh, hopefully, well, hopefully you guys have uh, learned something and know the truth about becoming a YouTube full-time fisherman. If there's any questions you guys have which you want me to answer, please leave it in the comment section. I will try and answer them as quick as possible. And then until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and comment and um, have a good day. God bless. Bam.